Hi, I'm Deborah Mybrick, and I'm with Peter Fairbank, who's of Chateau Clos Chamon, which is based in the Premier Clos de Bordeaux. Peter, Premier Clos de Bordeaux. Uh, often this region is referred to as a satellite or a Bordeaux satellite. What do you think about that? How do you view the Clos de Bordeaux? I am absolutely not agree to call uh, uh, Premier Clos de Bordeaux as a satellite of Bordeaux or a satellite of saint emilion we in Côte de Bordeaux has made a new group now, nowadays, uh, last uh, March. Côte de Bordeaux, Cadillac, when you speak about Côte, or Côte de Bordeaux, Blaye, when you speak about Blaye, or Côte de Bordeaux, Franc, when you speak about Franc. Oh, I'm pleased to hear that. That's a, that's a lovely plan. It's been a, a bit of a struggle to bring that name forward in, mm -hmm. in, in the, is, into the public very, eye. Very and, and, but you're not afraid of struggles because no. when you bought this property, it was in ruins. It's an old, old, historic, great growing yeah. property, yeah. but it was a mess when you yeah. bought it. So it, was a, it was a complete mess. There was no wine and there were no plants. There was only land and there was a house where you could live more or less, mm. and not in a good way, but you could live there. You've been a long-time collector of Bordeaux. How did it feel to go on to the other side of the business? Um, my dream started in 1975. The dream was to collect wine in that time. And I was buying en primeur already many, many years wine from the exporters in Bordeaux. All my holidays with my children, we were always in Bordeaux, on the ocean, on the seaside. And then many, many times, of course, we visited when the weather was a little bit bad, we visited uh, wine chateaus. And of course, when you see then these people and when you see what they do, then I said to my wife, what should it be nice to have a small chateau with one hectare in that time, I thought it was enough. When you do it not now, then you do it never. You'll never do it, yeah. <laughs> so then we were looking, 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 looking. And in 1919, I bought Chateau Clos We have here the 2001. That's not one wine who is made by Mr. Case van Leeuwen. Yeah. This, this is more the traditional wine. 2001 is a forgotten year after the very, very, very famous 2000. 2000 was a very famous year. But the 2000 is by the end better than the 2001. Sorry, 2001, 2001 is better, better than, than 2000. 2000 Sorry. Yeah. yeah. I think those years often get, the shadow years uh, really do come into their own. A few years later, you realize what we've missed. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. You cannot say immediately, this is a good year. 2000 will be always a very good year, of mm. course. But when we speak in terms of, 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 of longer uh, longer time than uh, the 2001 yeah, as uh, at least uh, 10 years more time than the, than the 2000 tell me what I can expect in this 2001 you can expect then. here um, 60 per 60% Cabernet Sauvignon mm -hmm. you can have here 20% Cabernet Sauvignon and 20% Cabernet Franc open perfect to drink on this moment. Well, great. I'm looking Probably. forward to it.